Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, um, magbabas na din tayo going to another place. We are going to Marrickville. Actually, meron namang Kmart sa ibang lugar. Pero, um, pinili ko tong location na to para makakita tayo ng bagong neighborhood na na hindi usually city. So, ang Kmart para siyang yung murang 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 mga gamit dito sa Sydney so usually pag sa Coles or Woolies mahal siya so punta tayo sa Kmart meron ding Aldi doon so magka-catch lang tayo ng bus it will take us 30 to 40 minutes going to Marrickville yan yung mga bus stop actually iba yung bus sila meron dito meron dyan meron din dun pa meron pa dun sa sunod pa so magka-take tayo dito sa gitna ng bus going to Marrickville yun so as you can see finally wala na akong bubble jacket kasi finally kaya ko na yung weather dito sa Sydney hindi na siya ganun kainit, hindi na siya ganun kalamig saktong sakto na lang actually mainit pa rin yung yung araw pero kaya na siya ng um, long sleeves lang pero hindi pa siya kaya ng t-shirt pero hindi pa kaya na nila mag t-shirt so yun actually today um, semi day of ko kasi tomorrow meron na ulit ako work and yun siguro i-share ko ulit sa inyo next time sa next video kung saan ako na So, ganito yung insura ng bus. So, nandiyan yung opal card. Nandiyan yung kailangan yung itap. Pagpapasok and lalabas. You make sure to tap on and tap off. And then, nandiyan yung bus stop. You just have to click the red button. So, nakarating na tayo ng Marrickville. Actually, it took us like 30 to 40 minutes because it was traffic. And then, I just want to show you kung ano yung itura ng mga suburb. I think um, this is already a suburb kasi parang it's very quiet. You can hear the birds actually chirping. Hindi katulad sa town hall where you can hear the bus, the fire truck, the ambulance. And dito sobra siyang peaceful. And as you can see, the neighborhood, very quiet siya. It's very quiet. Yan. And you can see, show ko lang din yung uh, mga bahay dito. Hindi siya ganun kataas. And siguro yung mga shops din, meron silang parang kubaga tinatawag na bayan sa bawat suburb. So, if you go to a suburb like this, make sure pumunta kayo sa bayan kung saan nandun yung mga um, supermarkets and other shops. Actually, nadaanan ko na kanina yung other shops. So, dito, pahita ko yung neighborhood. And so, if you would like to rent na hindi CBD area. So, sa mga um, suburb, katulad ng Marrickville, you can see yung mga houses, hindi siya ganun kataas. Mababa lang siya. Pero nga, at least you have your own space. It's very quiet and um, very, ano siya, peaceful pag gabi. Pero nga, I think, um, if bago kayo sa Sydney, I don't really recommend you living in a place na medyo malaya sa city because it's really hard to find your way, especially for someone like me na hindi marunong sa map. So, it took me around um, ano ba, one month and more bago akong natuto magbus. Actually, I still don't, um, I, I am not still familiar with a lot of things, but slowly I'm getting used to taking the bus and um, exploring the suburbs here in Sydney. So, dito pala sa Sydney, hindi uso yung U-turn. So, dito sa Sydney, uso yung roundabout. So, yan, iikot, um, iikot kayo dyan sa circle na yan. And then, as you can see, um, merong um, new trains na ginagawa yung Sydney para mas madali makarating dito sa Marrickville. So, this is the parang shopping center of the Marrickville area. So, dito merong Coles, merong Kmart, merong Aldi. Yun yung Aldi. Yan, so ito yung Kmart. Kumakita. And then, nandito sa loob yung Coles and other restaurants. So, if you're going to live in Marrickville, so this is the um, shopping center for you. Yeah, this, we're just going to enter the mall. And here in Sydney, we use 5 floors. It's just usually like 1 to 2 floors. And then, yun na yung buong mall nila. Yeah, and dito sa shopping center, you also have Puli. So if you want something more parang premium or parang more organic and more um, variety, not the usual uh, meat, 
you also have it here and then they also have a bake shop here, bake shop there and then uh, meat products here. And the big big difference na if you go to a suburbs like this, um, you'll be the only Asian in this because most of them are Australians and you won't really see them in the city because they usually live in the suburbs and they usually go to places like this. So if you are in town hall or in a CBD area like Wynyard or like Chinatown or um, Martin Place or in QVB area, it's mostly tourists and mostly um, Asian people, Thai, Indonesian, Vietnamese, and you won't really find um, locals in those areas. So it's really nice to go to the suburbs because may kita mo rin yung culture ng mismo Australia and you would really know um, how they um, live their life here every day in Sydney. And so ito na yung Kmart. So hindi ko alam dati na ang mura pala dito. I've bought so much sa ibang locations. And here you have everything. You have from home appliances to to clothes to everything is here. I think this would be similar to parang Target in the US. Pero parang... Um, I think it's the um, go-to place of Australians for if they're looking for something cheap, something affordable, and something with good quality. So if you are in Australia, make sure to drop by any Kmart store. So in Kmart, you also have bags, you also have accessories, you also have ponytails, and these are other items. You also have um, I don't know, sanitary products, beauty products, and everything that you need is really here. So there's also socks here. here. Here, of course, meron din kayo um, women's clothes. You also have it here. And, of course, our favorite area, the storage. Storage home area here. We also have um, more over here. So, this is actually my favorite section. Because wala lang masaya tumingin. And um, I'm, not, I'm not actually buying because I don't have... I'm just renting. But it's also a nice place to look and get inspired for more designs and for future um lang decorations at home and here and of course let's not forget about the kitchen area here so dito we also have price tank pharmacies like watson's in the philippines you have medicines the skin care and everything and this is aldi um, actually, it's also my first time to go here. It's actually parang lahat SM bonus yung brand here. So it's everything here is Aldi brand from the um, tingnan natin sa loob. So usually in the city, it's only, always Coles or Woolies. So here in um, sa mga suburbs area, we can find Aldi. Um, so here at Aldi, ito yung mga parang sale items nila, yung parang clearance sale. So there's really a lot of nice things to buy if you need something here. Yeah, and they have um, cat food, clothes, they also have a um, few mga food items from cashews, tim tam, butter chicken, and a whole lot more. There's also coffee here at Aldi for um, clearance sale. And so actually I cannot see the Aldi brand which they have told me that usually in Aldi there's really a lot of Aldi brand from the honey to the cereals but actually there is none I couldn't actually find it but um, I think um, the options here are very different from Colts and Woolies and I think it's really something um, nice to see and nice to explore so I don't think there's really an Aldi brand here so para everything is made for Aldi like um, kunwari, um, century 2 na gino you know, for bonus or parang ganon, parang for SM bonus. So this is made for Aldi as you can see. It's also Aldi, it's for Aldi. And then we also have a uh, dishwashing liquid here. It's also um, parang packaged and manufactured for Aldi. Yeah. So, yeah. Even this dish, laundry liquid is made for Aldi. Here. You can see and it's very cheap it's only 1.49 Australian dollars compared um, if you buy like in Coles or so it's usually like 15 to 20 plus Australian dollars so that is the end of the vlog I hope you enjoy I hope you have enjoyed um, shopping with me and um, um, touring 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 parang exploring the suburbs with me so don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you have enjoyed it and 
comment down below na rin if ano yung mga gusto nyo pang makita. So I will be having work again next week. So I'll be quite busy again. But I'm always open to any suggestions, suggestions that you have for my channel. Thank you and...